we ask, was the coronavirus let loose at Davos over a simple misunderstanding of trying to get into someone's pants? We investigate. We are getting reports that Hottie Priyanka Chopra may have been the cause of the biologically engineered coronavirus being unleashed on the world by China. It turns out that a Chinese official who was attending Davos, was the head of the biological warfare department, and was overheard in a conversation with a Trump counterpart. An insider at the event, who is sadly no longer alive, is said to have overheard the two government officials talking, stating that Trump's representative said to Chinese minister holy fuck. That if we could just find a germ to kill the urban population centers in the U.S., not only would they win the 2020 elections, but it would also fix the current insanity virus sweeping through the metropolitan areas. He said to holy fuck that the Marxist lefty virus is deeply embedded in these places, and while the virus is terminal, it can take up to two generations for it to show up, and is so infectious in the low IQ demographic. It makes catching chlamydia on spring break, look like a walk in the park. At this point holy fuck said to his American counterpart, that they have a virus that they could use to fix the problem, saying they have exactly the same issues. Then Miss Chopra joined the conversation. After the two biological warfare officials had stopped drooling, Miss Chopra went on to ask holy fuck, if he could get a corona for her. Eager to please, he said he would indeed get on the case, and it should be with her in around three weeks. Miss Chopra is said to have not been happy with the wait and went to the bar herself. Holy fuck, enamored by Miss Chopra, and wanting to impress her, flew directly back to Wuhan province that evening. It's reported that she then got hammered at the free bar on Mexican beer, and later left to her hotel room. She then ordered room service. She ate Italian. Giovanni told us it was indeed the case, and he was delivered between the hours of 10.30 and 11 p.m. on the night in question. Mr. Why so dim, who is Mr. Fuck's spokesman, has told us that holy fuck has been desperately trying to book a flight to the US, but is having problems. He wishes to meet with Priyanka Chopra. He said in an email to her, that he'll bring her all the corona she wants, if he could just have a few hours of her time. Preferably alone. He emphasized three times in the email, that he was not Colby Bliant, but nobody understands what he means. Miss Zinganda Yintao which is Mr. Fuck's name for Miss Chopra, is said to be very excited to meet up with him, when he comes to America. Miss Sexy Vagina, which is the English translation of Zinganda Yintao, was unavailable to comment when we called, as she was busy eating Italian at the time. Miss Alessia Fuckalotta confirmed to us later, that this was indeed the case. In other news, another hottie, Deepika Padukani held a press conference at Davos about something. At this point in time it's unsure what the press conference was actually about, as all the journalists present, 45 male and 2 female, all left the meeting in a stampede, before she'd uttered a single word. The reason is unclear as to why this stampede of pond life happened, but whatever it was, every journalist ran out to the restrooms, shouting I'll be back in five minutes, with the exceptions being the female reporters who were heard saying, make that ten minutes, for fuck's sake. George Soros also made a speech at Davos that went largely unreported, mainly due to the fact he is now probably senile, and anything he said was utterly ignored. It was the same old tired speech, blah 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 blah, climate change, sexism, open borders, and also some other retarded shit. He was pressed later about the contents of his speech, by a journalist. He was asked, why do you think you're still relevant, Mr. Soros? Your ideology is out of date. He refused to comment directly, but told him that he would be in touch with his good friend Hillary, later on that day and would bring up the point. He also commiserated with the journalist's upcoming fatal, and very painful, skiing accident.